What's up Nakama dudes? This is RJ and welcome to another One Piece trading card game content. For this video, I'll be trying to look for a Zoro player in the western server of the simulator because a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a gameplay video against a Zoro using the Impel Down Nami. So, let's go. So here, again, this is our deck list for those who haven't watched the previous videos uh, that I used this deck list. So, you can just uh, look at it and then if you're interested with it, you can copy it and use it or, or use it as a reference for your own deck. Now, we're gonna look for a Zoro player in the Western server. Let's go. At last, we have faced a Zoro player. So let's keep this one. He's going first. Let's keep this. <clears throat> right. We're now gonna play against a Zoro player. Let's play Kaya. Uh, would keep. Let's throw this one because that wing doesn't really do that much. Actually, I would. I'll play Buggy of. I would throw Yeah, I need this too because I can play this uh this church spada this turn and then Band of Doom next turn I would throw Bones here. Now he'll gonna attack me with of course 6k and then 5k here. So let's throw Boggy. I oh, know. Let's actually use Desert Spada here and then take one from uh, Zoro. Mm, I would put this at the bottom. So one of the gables is in the bottom now. Let's take this one. It's a buggy. We'll kill. But wow. All right. Let's play this one. We can throw one buggy. Now we have a counter here. So in case there's a haste. Right, Marco, 7k. Now I'll just use this one, Trash. 7k, Marco. Mm, I'll play Zep first so that we have that threat of uh, attacking him with um, seven card Miller trash cards what cards all right another Zep actually I would pass our turn here if he attacks with wow okay I thought we can keep that one alive Okay, he'll gonna attack for 7k. I can actually throw one buggy and then now hmm, should we take one? Because I can definitely defend one. 7k, yeah, I'll just take one. 7k, no blockers. Let's throw. One here, 8k. Now let's attack Marco. Let's draw two and another two. Well, let's play Kaya here because we have overheat so that we can uh, bounce it. Uh, would throw the buggies one desert spot and one buggy. Yeah, would say buggy. I think I can throw, and then I'll, I'll just throw buggy. Then attack Marco here. Actually, I can attack for 7k. Wait. Let's try to attack first. Because if you let Marco die, I can actually play uh, Pilaf here. Actually, I can play buggy. I can play buggy here. I would take uh, I think I would take a death wing. Man, I'll take Gum Gum Rain here. Then throw Lab Beam. Yeah, I'll take uh death wing. 
So one of the kaya is in the bottom now. One of the kaya is in the bottom now. So he'll attack for 7k. He's gonna attack for 6k. I would... Yeah, I can bounce one. 9k. 7 done. What do you have with for 7 done? Alright. It's gonna be 7k. I can play 9. Gonna defend with 9. No blockers. Trash cards. Those are good cards, right? So we definitely gonna take one. Trigger. Yes, trigger. The Marco will gonna try to kill Zoro. Next turn. So we're gonna be 6 7. Let's try to kill him with two dons. Oh wow, all right. Now what we're gonna do is play Pilaf here and then play another Kaya. Mm, yeah, let's play another Kaya. Let's throw one Bones and one Lub Lub. Now we do have, all right. Now we do have still two cards here, uh, two lives here. Gonna attack for 7k, gonna bounce Kaya. Now what do you still have? 7k, I can play Lub Lub. I can play Lub Lub and then... I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was gonna say he still have some... Uh, let me call this a uh, rush characters. Now, gonna take one, draw two, discarding one. I would say this one. And the question is 14. I can draw two. I can try to kill Zoro. Okay. So let's play. Now I can bounce Zoro here. Now let's throw bones and I think I don't need brick fist. What I do want is Kaya there. Easy discard ten cards. Wait, so two four, so two four six. Now we need more cards actually because they're gonna attack us this turn. So one could be one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll be keeping these cards, hoping that we survive this round. If we survive this round, we already won. Yeah, you don't you don't really need to force. If he knows what he's doing, he's gonna attack with nine Ks. But of course, we can definitely like that one. He just attacked for eight K, so we'll bounce Kaya into our hand. Now we can definitely work with uh, Gavel and. Band of Doom. Again, he's just attacking for nine, uh, eight Ks. That's kind of bad for him, but of course, good for us. Again, if we survive this round, we're gonna win the game. Seven uh, K. I think I just need to six one two. Yeah, I think I win. Uh, just gonna counter this one with Band of Doom and another Kaya. So again, you just have to compute everything. Just have to balance what you're gonna take and what you're gonna counter, and you're pretty much uh, uh, good against Zoro as well.
So whatever he does, I'm just gonna take it. Then no trigger, win the game. So there's just gonna be four. Play this one, trash whatever, play again, bounce, trash cards, and we already won. Again, you requested uh, this matchup, and I hope you learned something. Uh, rem just remember that you don't really have to force yourself to counter everything, but you just have to balance everything. Learn what attacks would you be taking and what attacks would you be uh, defending. And you also have to uh, remember all the cards that you put in the bottom so that in the later part of the game, you can plan it like, I know I will get uh, another Kaya in the bottom. So I'm pretty confident to throw the other Kaya just in case uh, I uh, just in case you need to throw some cards. You just have to remember what uh, other cards you put in the bottom so that uh, when push comes to shove, you, d you know what cards will you be drawing. So again, I hope you learned something from this video. And again, this is RJ playing One Piece trading card game. Peace out.